Ball State head football coach Dan Parrish joining us right now. You guys are putting on uh, camp here at Snyder High School. It looks like uh, from the looks of it here in the, in the stands, it's a great turnout. Well, it's a record turnout for us, and with the economy the way it is and uh, uh, a lot of things going on, uh, this is probably, this is 300 plus kids, and I think by about 30 or 40 campers, uh, the biggest we've ever had here. But the, the involvement of Snyder High School and his team and the other coaches in the area, uh, you know, on the uh, tip of the hat to Coach Schwartzkopf, he, he's virtually got his full team here. But not just that, there's a lot of people, and we have a lot of kids here from Michigan. I think Ball State's program has grown and grown, but this is uh, why we do it. And we love, ours isn't timing guys jumping and running. Ours is coaching football all day. And uh, we love being here with these kids. You know, as you alluded to before, you, you were thinking, okay, maybe two years ago you were 12 and two, you'd have a big turnout. But last season, uh, two and ten, not quite what you wanted, but uh, doesn't reflect it here. No, not at all. Maybe they all think they can play for us now, but uh, uh, we're we're excited. And you know, I think uh, everybody expects us to be right back in the race this year. We had to, a lot of reloading to do, and. Uh, we had a tough year, but our, our team was resilient and uh, went in the last game of the year up at Western Michigan, kind of took us into the winter, and uh, virt we got virtually our whole team back, so we're excited about this fall. And one of those guys coming back is McQuayle Lewis, a Snyder guy here. Were you surprised at all at the decision that he was allowed another year of eligibility? Well, I wasn't surprised that he was allowed a year. I was thrilled he took it because it would have been an easy way to jump out. You know, we had a tough year, and he didn't hesitate in the least. And it just uh, I felt so good about our team and what he thought. You know, he's coming back to win. He also has an opportunity to leave uh, our storied program of running backs as the most decorated back in the history of the university. And uh, I know he wants team goals first, but individually he's got a whole lot of things that uh, he can get accomplished. Uh, you're going to see a lighter, faster version of him. He's really worked hard on his cardio and conditioning, and uh, uh, we're excited, and I'm thrilled to have him back, obviously. What's the biggest key that you think that you needed to improve from last year to turn things around this season? Well, we were young everywhere. Our offensive line uh, got better as we went along. They're all back. Uh, we lost our quarterback in the middle of the season, and he's back. Uh, we're deeper. We have very good running backs. Most all of our defense is back. Uh, we should have a good kicking game. We just got to get better. We we lost five games by a touchdown or less and didn't finish a couple of games, and we've got to be good enough to finish the games. So I, I think we'll be back right back in the mix in the MAC. We've got Purdue and Iowa non-conference, so we're going to get tested with that. But uh, uh, I'm excited about our team. We're still going to be very young. We're only going to have 13 seniors on this team. Uh, but I think we've got a lot of uh, good players in the program. And uh, uh, last year was a tough pill for all of us to swallow. And uh, we certainly don't want that again.